I guess while we're waiting for Elamire to come online, we can go ahead and make this Vora build that someone wanted me to do. So I guess we'll call this heal spam or something. And then make the build. So Dark Siphon, put that at 5, this at 5, and then I guess the rest I can fill. So I'm going to put in... Um, All right! Maybe this card or something, because I haven't used... Or actually... Maybe we do this card. We go for like a Dark Siphon build. That could be. And then filler. And uh, filler. Sure. I don't really know. Level 1 fillers don't really matter. Let's see. Oh, on Frozen it's Guard. Oh, that's... Okay, it's not the best for Double Central. So actually, we can get away with the, uh, the Dark Siphon thing here. And of course, we gotta use the Golden Skin. The Golden freaking Skin. Yeah. Beautiful Gold Skin. In my opinion, the gold is a little bit too yellow and a little bit too saturated, but other than that, it's a nice looking gold skin. Alright, Nara. And... Is that gonna be Tiberius? Is it gonna be Double Tank? Is it gonna be... Makoa? Ah, okay, I see. Cool. And I got Androxus, Ash, Sky, Furia, and Cassie. Vora's really good against Sky because she basically gets free Illuminate. And she also just does good damage and has a good kit in general. And since we're going a max heal build... I guess we should also go for maybe Life Rip, too, and just get the... Get all the healing going, you know? Alright. Uh, let's do... Yeah, this one. This one. We'll just see what it... You know, how, how it works. Also, one thing that's just annoying for me for this skin is... It has purple effects, which are beautiful, but then they hit the wall, and it's just red. Like... Bro, why? You have different on-hit effects for other gold weapons. Why not this one? When is a new tier list coming? Honestly, my opinion on tier list has grown worse... Like, I don't think that they're the most useful thing anymore. And so I caution making it for that, just because a lot of champions aren't nuanced in their power strengths. Like, Sky is all over the tier list, depending on who you ask, right? You ask a controller player, you ask a high tier PC player, they're going to give you to two totally drastically different answers. And the last tier list just had so much negative feedback on it that I'm really just... I don't know. I don't feel like I want to make another one. Even though it had a lot of likes, it also had a lot of really vocal people who thought it was just the stupidest freaking list. So, you know, I just don't want to have to deal with that. Because as a content creator, you can imagine, like, yeah, it gets a little bit irritating and sad. You know, we get a lot of people giving you negative feedback on something. Obviously, you have to deal with it because everyone has to deal with that, and I'm not, like, complaining that it's happening. It's just, you know, if... I want to upload content, you know, I want to upload content that more people like. And more people tend to like things that aren't tier lists, apparently. So, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, we should be good to go. And I've been trying to notice the healing, but I'm not getting shot that much, which is the problem. I know that the little plus signs are big, but, like, this Cassie literally hasn't even shot me. Alright, Ash, you can shoot me. I'll hit you with Dark Siphon. That is a lot of healing, actually. That is a lot of healing. Oh crap, I'm also probably dead here, right? Yeah, he's gonna punch me. That was bad timing. But yeah, we are running both of these cards. So we get 250 extra health from the Dark Siphon, on top of 50 extra healing per Darkness stack. So that's 500 healing in total, on top of the regular heal from the Dark Siphon, on top of Life Rip. So, yeah, it's crazy. They're really gonna need a lot of cauterize to take me down. Or just get me in a bad position when my abilities are down, like that Androxus did. Okay, so... It's time to play a little bit of backline DPS Vora, because it is hard to flank in this particular portion of the map. So, yeah, let's just do a bit of backline DPS. We can cripple her too, and she's dead. Of course, Dark is going to be doing major damage to Ash, because it's percent-based damage. So that's nice. You're dead too. The only one alive is Sky. And we actually hit her. She's somewhere over here. Yeah, I see you. Well, I saw you. Hey, there you are. Yeah, see, Vora doesn't need Illuminate. You just gotta be... You gotta have good game sense predictions. And then you just, you know... Look for the damage numbers. Damage over time. Free Illuminate. Okay. No, but well, you're not getting ulted. I guess we'll just ult you or something. And you're dead. And that should be the push. Sky is still here, though. Ah, we hit her. Oh, she's juking. She's strafing. She's still down here. Eh, she's dead though, nice. And I'll hit you with that. There we go, nice. Nice push. Fantastic job. 
You can ask help for someone from your tier list. There are some tier lists that have two or more people giving their opinions until they all agree. Pretty much like watching a debate. <clears throat> a debate that you can actually understand. I mean, I could do that, but I don't know. I'd rather just not make a tier list. Especially because it is hard to make an accurate tier list. Because even though there are some obvious champions that are top tier, like Cassie, there are some who are not so obvious where to put them. Where do you put Yag when some games she's an unstoppable force, and other games she's the reason your team loses because she's just a giant bullet sponge and credit farm? Like, I don't know. It's just, it's tough. <laughs> so I'd rather just, I don't know. I wish there was like another format for ranking champions that allows for those nuances. I tried to fix that with my last tier list, but it just made things confusing for people. Oh, can you not? Okay. We're getting a little bit of self heals. I'm pretty much completely independent from my uh, healer. You know, if I ever need a, if I ever need a build to run, when I don't have a healer. Oh my gosh, I'm still alive. Oh my gosh, the healing. Okay, yeah, this build is good. Well, if I ever need a, if I ever need to play Bora in a situation where I have like Genos or something, or just no healer at all, or Grok, because <laughs> Grok doesn't heal flanks, this is the build I'm gonna run. Because holy crap, this healing is nuts. Look at that. I'm my own healer. One little thing from Domba keeps me topped off, but I don't even need that much. Like, jeez. Alright, so do Dark Siphon Mist, but it's fine. We still get the healing from it. Oh, hi. Hi, Sky. I still see you, and you're dead to one random shot from Domba. Nice. The only problem I have with this build is not really cooldown resets. I just like my cooldown resets. That's what my main build is, is DR and cooldowns. But obviously you don't need that to have a good build. It's just personal preference. Okay, can you not? Armageddon wants to slash you in the throat. There we go. I obliterate behind him. He's low, but he's going to kill me because he's going God Slayer. And I think that obliterate might have also fed it, possibly. So, yeah. Alright. Um, let's see. Easy, just make a tier list based on balanced champions. Needs nerfs, strong, balanced, decent, needs buffs. Okay, but the thing is, that's not that simple either, because you could easily just replace those with A, B, C, D, E. Or, you know, whatever the letters are. Like, because that's pretty much what the letters stand for. But that still doesn't answer the problem of, like, you know, if, if you saw my Sky video, for example, where I talked about how she's, like, S-tier and low-tier controller matches, freaking trash tier as a flank in high rank lobbies, but also pretty good support, so, like, one build is bad, the other build is good. It's just, like, I don't know. A lot of new ones. Anyways, that is pretty much a team wipe. Cassie's the only one alive right here, and we should be able to easily kill her. Um, I don't know where she is, but yeah, Mako's gonna get her nice. I'll just push the payload for you guys. Don't you worry, I'm chilling here. Sometimes you thought they nerfed Koga and Zin too much. These were both champions who you love to play with. Well, Zin is still really good, just because his kit is annoying. He's pretty much the cockroach of the flank class. He is the toughest flank to kill. Because he's got a counter, he's got a billow, he's got a whirl. And he's got his ult. You could pretty much view that as four ways to either dodge damage or just escape and move around. So he's really annoying for that aspect. Honestly, nerf he got to get him was well deserved. But yeah, Koga. I think they nerfed him because he was really strong on controller. But then that just makes him kind of mediocre at best on PC unless you go Dragon Fangs. Oh hi. Um, I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Armageddon retreats, but we can still kill the Ash before I die. Hey, there we go. Nice. Zin will always be good because he's annoying. Yeah, unless they change how his counter works or something like that. He'll just always be annoying. Or if they nerf his damage even more. Because, I say even more. Like, he got nerfed shortly after his release, like, th three, four years ago. Of course, because I'm a Paladin's Boomer, I remember that. But yeah, if they, like, nerfed his damage or something, then... Then I think is when you start to finally see him falling off. They won't revert his nerfs with the excuse of it would break him in low ranks and on console. Yeah, exactly. That's why they nerfed him in the first place. You know. It, it's kind of fine to have champions like that, like Koga or Vivian, who, you know, aren't strong in high ranks, but they're strong in low ranks, because you need to have some easier introductory characters to the game. Not every character needs to be, like, a super hard, high-skilled champion. But if they're an easier champion, you know, or someone who's more accessible with, like, controller or something, they shouldn't necessarily be as busted on PC either. I think that's fine. <clears throat> and besides, there's still a good way to play Koga on PC, which is Dragon Fangs. 
pop that with a Corvus pocket and you win games. Easy. So, yeah. Oh, hey, there's this guy here, too. Let's go ahead and just pop that, get all the self heals going. And we got a Domba heal on top of that. You practically can't kill me. Sky. Sky. Stop being silly. You can't kill me. I'm playing Vora. Die. Thank you. All right, most of them are dead. Cassie's retreating over this way, except she's not because she was so fucking dumb. So she's dead. All right, cool. Um, when you shoot, it's purple. When it hits the wall, it turns red. Yeah, I know. Kind of lazy hit effects on the gold skin. I mean, other gold skins, I think, have different unhit effects. Even if they're not that noticeable. They're still different. But Vora's are really noticeable, so they really should have changed the unhit effects for them, because it just looks kind of bad. Also, in my opinion, the purple is a little bit too dark for me. I would have liked it if it was a little bit brighter. Maybe a little bit more white and gold in there. But the rest of the gold skin looks fine, though. With the exception of, in my opinion, also gold being a little bit too saturated. Like, I don't like my gold to be that in your face, like bold yellow. I would like it to be a little bit more, I guess, pale. <laughs> Alright. Well, we got max life up, we got max cauterize. I guess the next logical step is kill to heal. Just to pump our healing numbers up even further. I mean, only one of them has cauterize three. And Ash doesn't have cauterize at all, so I feel safe doing that. But unfortunately, we are going to lose that uh, payload, though, because they have the combat mechanic, so we literally could not get back to the point in time. It's not fast enough. Let's see. Hello, Sky. Wow, I miss you, because Anara put a wall under my feet. Okay, thanks. There we go, we'll hit you with that. You should be dead. There we go, nice. Whoa, can you not, please? Um, no, I'm just not going to push that. Thank you, Dumbledore for the heals, though. Ah, excuse me. Let's see, we should be able to beat up this guy here. She is really low. Is she dead? Yeah, she's dead. Of course, I was going to shoot at the Fury and actually hit her, because they were both standing in a line. Nice. Let's up, kill that Ash. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, I miss. No, Androxus. I missed, bro. Just chill. Don't worry. There we go. You're dead. Nice. War's weapon is the same as Zin's, but more range, low damage. It's not even low damage. It's just good damage. And it has the damage over time, too. And it has a different attack combo. Instead of having just two, where you do two regular slashes and then a heavy hit, it's like there's two small slashes, there's a medium slash, there's a heavy slash, and it's in, like, a weird pattern. But yeah, they are very similar, though. <clears throat> Excuse me, what? That Talos bought Bulldozer? Wait, he did? Yo, why did Talos get Bulldozer as his first item? They don't have any deployables on their team. Why would you do that? What? Is this person? This person has to be new, right? Yeah, Marmite. Helpful tip. Bulldozer is not a good item. <laughs> Unless you're going against, like, Inara or something. But even still, as Talus or pretty much any other damage character, flank character, just get Cauterize. Like, Cauterize just makes it so much easier to kill things. Especially against high output healers. Like, you know, if Io is healing someone in a duel, the person that Io is healing is probably gonna win. A thousand heals per second is no small feat to out damage. Bulldozer is primarily only good against, like, Luna, which is Io's dog. Nara, who has, like, walls and stuff. And Imani's dragon, if that's being a nuisance to you. That's pretty much the only time you'd get it. <clears throat> and even still, if there's just one of those characters on the team, it's still probably not even worth it. Also, Ko's about to die to us. To the sky. No. Okay, you're still dead, though. Let's vine over here and try and do some damage to Cassie. If we can, it looks like her and Ash are just chilling over here. We're just gonna pump damage into these guys. And screw it, I might as well. I got all the healing in the world. I can sustain their damage for days. Get out of here. You get out of here. Ooh, good hook through it, and you're dead. And that should be the defense. Nice. Well done. You naturally buy Cauterize each game. Even when playing healer, you have to remind yourself to buy Kronos. Yeah, I'm not that bad about it. <laughs> I, I, I do, even though I instinctively bit cauterize on a lot of people, and it actually hurts me in sumo sometimes, uh, yeah, I don't remember. Or I don't forget Kronos and stuff. Read chat. Accident you didn't mean to? Okay. Fair enough. But also, if you catch that, like, oh, I accidentally bought Bulldozer, if you don't close the item screen, then you can undo by pressing this button here. I forget what the button is on controller to do that, though. But yeah, that's the thing, too. So, yeah. Andrew, you might not trust me, but Eevee, who has 850 DPS, actually has more DPS than Shaw. Yeah, because Shaw takes so long to charge up an arrow. Yeah. 
Theoretically, his DPS is pretty low. But the thing with Shaolin is, he charges up his arrow when he's not in combat, and then he can immediately hit with a thousand. So, like, say I was Shaolin, I would charge up my arrow, and then boom, it'd be on the sky. Like, as soon as we get into the engagement. And then he charges up an arrow again for another thousand. So it works out, because it's a bow, and bows are just interesting. But yeah, theoretically, like, against a tank or something, yeah. Shaolin is not a tank buster at all. He really does not do a good job killing tanks. And if you are forced to kind of be a tank buster on your team, that's why you go recruit. Because it's just a flat, you know, DPS increase with your faster fire rate. So that's nice. Also, um, Ash is going this way. I want to try and stop her from getting the point. Maybe we could ult her. Actually, we should ult right now just in case, because I'm taking a lot of fire from a lot of people, and I don't like that. Come in with the execute. Never mind. I'm dead. Oh my goodness, that was a good ult. She, like, hit the ceiling and just got punted immediately down, so I couldn't ult her. That's unfortunate. You wish they gave Bulldozer a reason to be picked? They nerfed the deployable's health so hard. Yeah, a lot of deployables are not very tanky, but at the same time, like, Barrack Turrets with the right build and Grok Turrets with the right build can be pretty tanky, though. So, like, I have sometimes found myself picking Bulldozer against Barrack, especially when playing, like, Makoa or something. Just because it's helpful. And I'm probably dead here. Oh, we lost the objective again. That's unfortunate. We're doing really good in the early phase, but then I guess we're just failing on zoning or something. So, it's kind of unfortunate. It's going to hit you. You're dead. Nice. Now wait for the wall. Oh, hi, Sky. Um, let's hit you with that. Now we're selling her, and she's dead to Nara. Nice. Um, oh, no, I missed. No. Cassie. Or, yeah. Cassie. Where are you? There you are. Take damage. There we go. You're dead. Fury is dead. Should be able to kill this in Drox because he's not focused on me for some reason. There we go, nice. Now just kill the Ash. Oh, I missed. Crap, I'm bad. Oh, well, there we go, you're dead. Nice. So Shaw's DPS has increased by 25% when choosing recruit? Pretty much, yeah. Because there's two ways to increase someone's DPS. Increase how fast they can fire, or increase the damage per shot. So, if there was another talent that, you know, made Shaolin do, say, 1200 damage per arrow, that would also be a DPS increase. But, yeah, fire rate also makes you do more damage. For a lot of characters that are like Victor, if you were to increase Victor's fire rate, yeah, it would give him higher DPS, but it would also be more, or uh, less ammo efficient. So if ammo was a thing you had to worry about in this game, then you would, then I guess, like, making faster fire rate would be the worst option compared to just buffing your damage per shot. And you do still have to worry about ammo because, like, reloading is a thing, but you don't have to worry about, like, ammo pickups and max ammo capacity, like you do in some other games, so... Yeah. Mm. It's not yet my time. Anyways. It's Let's see. Um, we are kind of on the back foot here. Both of our tanks are dead, and they are cruising this through right now. I'm going to try and get some stacks, and I want to try and get some kills here. Our Domba's also dead. That is like the worst timing, man. Now that our tanks have respawned. They very much have a chance of pushing this through right now. If we're not careful. Of course, I'm not worried about the healer dying for myself. I'm worried about the healer dying for our tanks. Makoto's bringing our ult, she should be fine right here. We're gonna vine up here and just get behind them. Let's get this Cassie if we can. There we go, you're dead, nice. Can we get the Sky? Should be able to, right? It's just, it's Sky. Nobody's scared of Sky when they play Vora. There we go, you're dead. All right, there we go, we barely managed to defend that. I'm gonna watch this flank just in case. Make sure they don't back cap through this hallway, but I think we got it. Hello. Oh, hi. Bask in my superior healer. You're dead. <laughs> nice. So what's a good time to choose something like Sand Trap for Sha? Well, the thing with Sand Trap is against Squishies, it's great. You pop 1300 damage on somebody, charge up one more arrow, most of the time they're dead. Or alternatively, combo it into Planted. Or Rapid Shot, whatever that ability is called. Um, and yeah, then that cripple just makes it so that they can't get away. So like against uh, against like Maeve, for example, you would totally go Sand Trap. Because the initial Sand Trap arrow would nuke like two-thirds of her health, and then you just use Rapid Shot to finish her off, combo into that. And then if you're running a reset build that gives you go ahead and reset on elimination, you're good to go. You can do that in a few seconds. So Yeah, it's great. <clears throat> Anyways, we're gonna get some Haven just for more survivability. We're just tanky, Vora. I just realized I have 64 eliminations. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Well, if we don't win this, I'm going to be very disappointed. I think I see people going behind us. Yeah, we got Androxus back here. We also got Sky again. No one cares about Sky. 
There we go. She's dead. Nice. We're gonna go ahead and just ult this Ash. Just get her out of here. Might as well. We're playing for her with an Execute. Let's just go for that. Go for the damage on Furia. She cannot out-damage my heals. You're dead. Let's get rid of this Cassie, hopefully. It's gonna be tough, me fighting Cassie and Androxus at the same time. I might not be able to do it. I don't have cooldowns right now. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, we need teammates back on the point stat. There's only two people there right now, and they're both half health, but our team is just pushed back so far. I swear if I lose this, I'm going to be super disappointed. Because I'm doing really, really good. But it all comes down to our tanks and our healers. So, like, if they don't cap the point and they can't stay alive there, then we're just doomed. We got Makoa and Nara back there. Damba's ulting out. Oh my goodness, they're bringing up Furia ult, though. Oh, come on. Come on. Alright, Cassie, you're dead. We got Androxus. We got a lot of them down. But we're still looking real bad here. And Nara is literally one. She's getting healed, thankfully. Ash is gonna drop. Can we get this Sky? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sky, where are you? Don't die to that. Did that still hit me? Oh, come on. Okay, guys, watch out. Sky is still over there. I'm really worried when I'm not alive to help the team. Okay, that was a good stun on Cassie. That's a good way to take her out. Come on, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. And Troxus is ulting out. I don't like that. We're at 99. Come on. Sky is dead? Okay, and alright, yeah, just heal up. I'm back. Damba's fragging out, actually. He just wiped out two of them. These stuns are nice. Yeah, that Death Hands 3 really worked out for us. And we are, in fact, going to win this game. Nice job, team. You guys did really good. Well, freaking done. That was a fantastic game of Vora, and I really like this build too. Lots and lots of self-sustain. That felt good. Of course, it does get countered a bit by Cauterize, but in the early game, oh my goodness, this is good. Let's take a look at the stats. 40 kills, 9 deaths, and 141,000 damage. Absolutely lovely. It looks like the weak link on their team was the healers. Um, Sky, of course, is not like a solo healer, so can't put the burden on that. But Furia only got 38,000 healing. Their Ash was just not supported well enough on that point, I don't think. She tried, I think, to go exterminate? No, she went Solar Blessing. Wow, that is really bad for Solar Blessing. Oh my goodness. I guess she's just not that much of an experienced Furia then. But yeah, that was an absolutely crazy game of Vora. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload from me. Also make sure to check out the Twitch channel and the Discord server, both of which are linked in the description below. I stream regularly on Twitch, and you can come find me on Discord where we play a lot of games there, including Paladins, Overwatch, and more. So go check me out there. Lastly, I want to give a huge shout out to the members of the channel for helping to support what I do. If you want to help support my content and unlock some fun emojis, as well as an exclusive role in the Discord server, then just click the join button right next to the subscribe button. It's cheap and it helps out a lot. Anyways, I will see you all next time. Peace out.